Back for another quick video today. Gonna see if we find any unique scenarios uh, or situations with the stop signs and traffic lights. Okay, that's a weird kind of stops and it goes and stops and goes two or three times before it decided where it was actually going to stop. Where it finally ended up stopping was probably about the best place to stop, maybe a little bit closer to that stop line. That's one of the things that's going to be the most challenging for, I think, this new feature to work at intersections is its ability to not only stop at the stop line but in like the case coming up here where there is no stop line there's a yield sign um, but it's stopping at the intersection it needs to stop far enough forward where you can actually see the oncoming traffic and to this date there's many situations many times where it comes up to an intersection and it's actually not where it needs to be this for example okay I'm 20 30 feet from where the intersection is I can't see if the cars are coming so I got to disengage so I can get out here this is where I need to be in order to actually see the oncoming traffic to see if it's safe to proceed I'm assuming that when they do add left turns and right turns into its ability that it's gonna have some sort of feature where it gets to a stop line that it thinks is the stop line but then creeps forward to a safe enough position where it's not in the traffic but also has the ability to see the traffic that it's uh, potentially oncoming so it can make a determination of whether it's safe to proceed or not we'll have to see how they implement it, it could be pretty interesting how it actually does that one thing I have been impressed with is its ability to determine between the three lanes that you might be in, which one is actually applicable to you as far as the light is concerned. So you see in that situation, when the light for my lane turned green, that's when it turned green on the autopilot display. Whereas there was a flashing yellow, which it also displayed uh, as the lane that's not appropriate to you the action that you need to take so it seems to be very good about detecting which lane you're in and which light is applicable for your lane so that's good see so it says it's green now I get over as soon as I got over in that lane it immediately switched to showing the yellow light which is accurate and in this case, it's actually turning red. So, so it's very good about knowing which lane you're in, which is impressive. Now, here's one situation I've seen come up a few times with autopilot. It sometimes sees this traffic light that's only engaged when there's a lot of traffic. See what it does. Yeah. Okay, yeah, see? So it popped up and it said slowing for traffic light, but that was far past where you would have blown by that light. And it'll be interesting to see if there's ever heavy traffic again, <laughs> what it actually does for those lights at uh, on ramps. So it kind of slowed down for maybe, you know, three miles per hour, five miles per hour, just a little bit as it was accelerating up to 70 miles per hour but it didn't actually interact it didn't actually stop and it didn't actually require me to confirm to go through it it decided that that light was inactive and it was safe to proceed i don't know if that's actually in their data uh, as far as map data to determine that that light is situational or whether it determines it's situational based on where it's approaching it. I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. So, 
you know, honestly, those lights are sometimes can confusing, especially when there's two lights for two lanes that are alternating to control the traffic on coming into the interstate. It'll be interesting to see uh, how Tesla interacts with those situations. Turning left here, the left turn is not supported in this software release. I do have a lead car, so maybe it will follow them. Let's see what it does. Most likely gonna have to take over. Totally disengages. Take over immediately. As expected. It used to try left-hand turns before before it was recognizing it. I think that actually autopilot is now recognizing those intersections and the left-hand turns and basically taking the cautious approach of requiring you to take over because it's not yet a supported function or supported feature so whereas before it, it, I don't think it was even recognizing that it was an intersection that you were taking a left turn lane it would just maybe follow the lead car if it happened to uh, be okay with what lane it was determining it was in but it wasn't actually supporting a left hand turn all right, so not too many unique scenarios to find, but uh, we had a couple there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.